everybody welcome back to the third video session uh, in this session i'm just going to continue with my task 2 just we are going to place and test a dual input and gate you may be aware uh, and gate is a kind of a logic gate there are various logic gates we have like and gate if both the inputs are one it produces the result as a one for all other conditions it produces output as a zero okay so this is called as and gate and we have or gate minimum any one input must be one it produces the output as a one as you can see here if both inputs are zero that means it produces results as a zero and a simple not gate if we feed a zero it gives you one that means just inversion okay zero means one and one means zero and also we have nand gate that means a and followed by a not whatever you see the results for and that will be just inverted okay and we have like nor gate and there's something called xor gate is actually a kind of you know a kind of addition you can see 0 plus 0 in binary is 0 0 plus 1 is 1 1 plus 0 is 1 1 plus 1 is 0 and we will have a carry 1 so it's a kind of addition okay and we have xnor gate it's a kind of comparison i believe like a 0 and 0 it gives you 1 and 1 and 1 it gives you 1 for other combinations it gives you a 0 so these are the basic uh, gates we call it as a logic gates now let me just focus on this video how to test these logic gates okay first let me open a new design and i'll just select the components as you can see it is an instrument mode you need to come back to the components mode okay so our selection mode component mode okay so place uh, let us test uh, uh, two or three gates together instead of making a you know, separate separate circuits 7400 it's a ttl family we have nand gate so you can choose 74 ls00 there are different logic families you can see als es f and hc and sct okay and also we have ls is the most uh, commonly used ls and sct these two families nowadays we are using in most of the circuits it's a high speed cmos whereas it's a low power short key this one okay so double click on 7400 and 7408 is for your and gate again i choose the same family ls and 7432 we have R gate and 7402 I believe is an R gate yeah it's an R gate so, and 7404 we have a NOT gate you can see it's a inverters okay and i'm just selecting resistor uh, not necessary we, i'll just show you even without resistor how we can see the results okay is let me choose push button i can choose a push button or double pole single throw switch okay you can just see here it's a double pole double throw no sorry a single pole double throw switch yeah we need uh, this kind of switch i'll just tell you the purpose why we need we are choosing this um uh, that's it okay now just see i'm just placing the gates one by one in order and gate And 
and then i'm just placing now a not gate and i'm placing a or gate and i'm placing a nor gate i'm just placing a not gate okay now you may see here it's it's is actually whenever we place ic it it automatically numbers it it's actually u1 that means is ic1 this ic2 is ic3 ic4 is ic5 each are different ic's whereas when you refer to the data sheet of this ic in single ic there will be four you know parts of and gate will be there okay this ic is having total 14 pins Uh, pin number seven is ground and pin number fourteen is VCC and apart from that remaining pins are used in this configuration. Now, in case in your digital circuit design, if you want to place more uh, AND gate, you just keep placing it. You will see automatically it says U one A and U one B and C and D. Now you finished up with single IC. Okay, if you place next one, it says now next IC. You can see this is U one. We have four ICs. And U two, U three, U four, and U five. This is U six. Okay, like this, it automatically take care of this pin assignments and all. Okay, just I'm just showing you this also to get familiarized. Now, for these gates, we need to feed zeros and ones. As you have seen in the truth table, we have to give zero or one. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to choose the switch. Okay, and I want to rotate and place. That means I'll just choose here, and you can also use this X mirror, and I want to place it like this. Okay, and same I'm going to choose one more for feeding two inputs. Okay, now I'm just going to wire the logic gates. okay and i'm just connecting these all in a single line that means i am feeding a signal okay and for x inverter we need to have only one i'm just following with a and then we need to feed another signal so let me choose over here is a signal b let us say just go through the way how you want to route the wire okay and what we need to give we need to give zero and one okay that means what i'm going to do is i'm just going to connect these two and i'm going to connect these two over here okay and again i'm just trying to save so let me name it as a demo 3 if you want to exit a component mode just you have to press escape and what i'm trying to do is now i'm just going to place a ground and i'm going to place a vcc so just see this connection this switch is connected over here that means the if the switches are connected in this direction that means it is 1 1 we are feeding 1 1 okay now if the switch is connected in other direction we are feeding 0 okay just see what happens when we simulate one is shown in proteus as a red dot and zero is shown as a blue dot okay so we no need to connect the led and see the results uh, as we already discussed in our previous uh, simulations how to use led and all i hope you can follow up with that video whereas here we can see in terms of the uh, this uh, you know the green and sorry um, blue and red dot okay so finally just save once again and just click on play that means you are simulating the circuit 
just see first let me start with the both 0 0 I am feeding both 0 0 and as per the truth table and gate produces 0 you can see here and gate produces 0 and R gate produces 0 and not gate A input 0 means it produces you as a 1 and NAND gate it gives you 1 and NAR gate also will give you 1. So, if you look at the circuit now the NAR gate it gives you 1 and NAND it gives you 1 and this all gives 0 and we are feeding this signal this is 0 here now and we are getting 1. So, I am changing this as a 1 now. Um, so, let us retain this as a A. Okay, this is as a A and this as a B now. So, I am trying to give you as a 0, 1 now. So, 0, 1 still it remains 0 whereas this gives you 1 and here 1 and R gate sorry uh, NAR gate you can say 0 and R gate it gives you 1 and both input like 1, 1 you will see AND gate produces 1 and NAND is just opposite okay and you can see R and NAR is just opposite okay. So, this is a simple arrangement um, in which you can test the functionality of basic logic gates okay. So, let me stop this simulation and go ahead with the new design ok. So, in this one we need to use uh, the third task which is nothing but design an operational amplifier based inverting amplifier with a gain of 10. That means, first you should have a prior knowledge of operational amplifier again we have a lot of online calculators as I told you uh, once you can learn the theory part when it comes practical this is the circuit which we want to uh, do it and we in let us assume like I am trying to feed a, uh, 500 milli is not possible means 0.5 volt and V out I am expecting let us say 5 volt and let me choose R in as a 10 kilo Oh, well, this is uh, not working out. It is very simple calculation as you can see over here. If I feed R in as a 10 kilo, RF must be like 100 kilo. Okay. So, let me construct the circuit now. So, I am just placing the operation amplifier and the resistor and I am just placing a load resistor. and I am placing the ground terminals and I am trying to place a sign input and I am setting the magnitude as a 0.5 of course in a volt and the frequency I am setting let us say 1000 ok and we need to feed a power here DC and over here negative power this is minus 12 volt I am oh sorry this is uh, plus 12 volt and over here minus 12 volt and then I am just placing a virtual instrument like oscilloscope and I am trying to check what is the output. So, you will see here the signal is